Hi, this is Patrick again from SpyFu.com. In the last video, we looked at how you can write awesome ad copy by taking a look at your competitors' domains and using their experience to fuel your own campaign. If you're a new online shoe company, it's pretty slick to look at what keywords Zappos has advertised on and simply imitate their ad copy for your campaign. But what if you already have a set list of keywords ready in your holster and you want to see all the top competitors for those keywords and all the different ad copy that they're all using? That way you can pick and choose from all that ad copy and find the best one for your campaign. Ad history also does that. So let's say I'm a website that sells one of my personal favorite things, audiobooks. Woo! We're subscription-based, but also allow a free trial of our services, which are MP3 versions of popular titles that people can download to their iTunes or whatever. Do people still use Winamp? I already have a campaign running with a bunch of keywords I know should be converting, but my ad copy is lacking and my clicks and conversions are suffering for it. So let's take a look at some of my keywords and find out some actually good ad copy for them. Audiobooks for iPod is one of my strong keywords, so let's check it out. Now, instead of seeing a bunch of keywords that a domain is advertising on, you'll see a bunch of domains that are advertising on this keyword. But what has remained the same as domain search is the different colored rows and boxes. Again, we made the rows different colors just so you could better visually identify them. So it doesn't matter if a row is purple or orange or black, that doesn't actually mean anything. What does mean something is when there's a shade change within any given row. A change in shade means that this domain changed their ad copy from one month to the next. The top contender here is not a big surprise. Audible.com is a hugely popular audiobook site. If I click on one of the ads, you can see not only the ad copy, but that Audible has a daily budget of about $2,500 and is advertising on about 3,500 keywords. On this particular keyword, I can see that they've been running ads since July of 2007. Let's click on another one of these ads and see what we've got. Now, even though Audible is the number one stunner on this keyword, that doesn't necessarily mean that they're the best example to follow. Remember in the previous video when I said you should follow domains that are actively changing their ad copy? The ones that are clearly A-B testing variations to find the absolute best ad copy? And then once they found it, they're working even further to make sure it is the best. That's not really what Audible is doing here. On the contrary, they've been running more or less the same basic ad for the last year. Now, maybe they have found the golden goose of ad copy and are just letting it lay its golden ads from month to month. But it's also quite possible that they are number one on this keyword because they are the undisputed brand of audiobook downloads. But since your domain doesn't have the industry clout that Audible does, they might not be the best domain to emulate on this particular keyword. So, let's take a look at some of these other examples. Audiobooks.com has an interesting history. If you look at November and December's ad copy, you'll see that they were going for rent audiobooks. This didn't seem to work out so great for them. So they took a break from this keyword altogether. When they came back, they started evolving their copy in a new direction, talking about their key feature, unlimited streaming, their selection, 10,000 plus titles, and their free trial. When we look at the other domains advertising on this keyword, we see a lot of patterns in that direction. The key feature of instant downloads, the selection of audiobooks that domain has, and the key subscription feature, whether it be a free trial, no commitment, or the peculiar trend of $7.49 introductory price. And I'm guessing it was Audible who set that bar. And this is the real differentiator between searching for a domain and searching for a keyword in ad history. When searching keyword to keyword, you really have a strong spread of ad copy and ad copy trends to pick and choose from. By laying out so many options, it adds a new layer of freedom and creativity to your campaign. Of course, you, again, could just steal one of these domains ad copy verbatim if you wanted to. A lot of them are already well tested and may be a perfect match for your brand. But if you wanted to take a bit more time, you could do a great job of mixing and matching these pre-tested ideas, find patterns and trends in the industry, and ultimately create the perfect ad copy for your unique company. You could do this right in ad history, or you could export all of this ad copy and look through it in Excel to have the trends and phrase patterns really pop out at you. I hope these tutorials explain the basics of using ad history to create quality ad copy for a new campaign or a set of existing keywords. As always, thanks for watching.
Now, even though Audible is the number one stunner, 